how to set up an email account and upload your content. We're going to go to L-I-V-E, live.com. And when that comes up, when it finishes coming up here, you're going to click on the Sign Up Now button to create a new account. I'm just going to call it D. You have to give it your birthday, although they don't really know what your birthday is. Oops, that's not right, but I don't care. And I'm a male. Now, we're going to do a live.com. And you're going to do NSB and your last name. I'm going to put a one after mine because I did another one earlier and I need to make another one. Give it a password. see mine. They asked for two ways of helping you reset it. I'm going to give them an email address. And a security question. Favorite teacher. That would be me. And I'm going to give it a zip code. I'll give it Edgewater. 32132. And type in this thing to show that I'm not a robot. W R C X L W 8 L K. I think that's right. I'm going to uncheck this so I don't get unwanted offers and accept. If you do everything right, it'll go on to the next screen. If you don't, it'll highlight what you didn't do. And let's see what it says next. Uh, ACBS. I'm just going to click continue to Hotmail. You can see I've got a name here. I got this whole deal. Um, now, so this is, you can use this for uh, emails. You can use it for other things. They have apps actually that you can download to your phone and stuff. The thing we want to use is we want to click on SkyDrive. SkyDrive is our free storage in the cloud. And you can see they've already set up these folders. This is the way it looks actually if you have the app on your phone or if you're using Windows 8 or you have a Windows uh, phone. Uh, so um, on, I'm just going to, in here, I'm going to click on that for that folder. And then I'm going to upload. And for me, I'm going to upload, if I can find it quickly, that. PowerPoint that I showed you. It'll just take me a few clicks to get there. My Puzzle Cube portfolio open and it's uploading it and it's done. And there it is. That's my, uh, they show it that way. You can change the way you look at stuff. That just shows it that way. You can do a little thing at the side that tells you what you got there, um, however you want to, uh, to do it. Um, and, and so that, that's how you upload. You can also upload your video because that actually is a separate thing. I'd have to go here and come down here. So you can upload. I've got a bunch of them that I've made as examples. But uh, you can upload one of those. I think that was one that played pretty well. It'll upload it. It won't actually allow you to play it, uh, but it will upload it, so it's there. So if you wanted to show it to somebody else, you could. At least it's that way you could download it from somewhere else without having to have a flash drive. So that is, I if I can rename that. Oops, I think that's going to do something. I can uh, manage it. Okay, I'm going to close that, and I can rename it. So I'm going to call that Puzzle Cube Animation. That way I'll know what it is. So I mean, it's those kinds of things that you can do that help you understand where things are. Uh, what we're going to do next, another time, I'm going to do in a different video on how to take this. You can look at it. You can, if I click on this, and I click on... Uh, open in PowerPoint web app. 
what we'll do is by, by clicking that, it will open it up in a separate tab. And this is, again, how you can, although it's, it did this for me earlier, I'm not sure how to get it to be big. Let's see what happens here. Yeah, it's there, but for some reason, it's not showing a big. Uh, shoot. Okay. Um, so, anyways, that in fact, and now I could. Now that I've done that, I can come in as NSB. I can now sign in. Oh, I have to have at live.com and then and that will sign me back into my account and again so you can see what you got here and you can look around and it'll do a lot of different things so and you can see that in my public folder here I've got two things and I'm going to try this one more time to see if that works. There we go. Now it does it. And you can see uh, it's there. So you could show this to somebody and go, look, this is what we did. It won't play the video, but it is, uh, you can show it to somebody from here. So now it's in the cloud. Can't lose it. Don't need a flash drive. It's there forever. And then the next step will be to create a website that we can do that with. And you can download it if you want to download it later. And so I'm going to stop here, and I'll do a website one uh, later. There you go.